of the Construct has so much going on. New quest lines, new legendary items, new unique items, new mechanics, challenges, and more. In the season of the Construct, you learn of a wondrous place beneath the sands of Kedjistan, filled with untold treasure. Nearly all who seek this treasure never return. Those that do return are haunted, or worse yet, possessed. You seek out this place to put an end to whatever is lurking there. Following a lead, you discover a sprawling network of underground vaults. It houses the Loom, a priceless apparatus built long ago by the brilliant mages Zoltan Kul and Ayujan of Chaldeum to shape the elements and build tools to serve humanity. While exploring the network, you rescue Ayujan, only to discover that the demon Malphus has taken over the Loom to create its own private hell. Malphus is a servant of Diablo. He is unlike other demons we've encountered in Diablo 4. He's shapeless, manipulates others, takes on forms other than his own. He has possessed one of Zoltan Kul's prized constructs. And you must work with Ayujan to explore the vaults, gain access to the loom, and defeat Malphus. This season introduces constructs. These elementally powered monsters were originally created by Ayujan and Zoltan to protect and maintain the loom. Unfortunately, Malphus has taken control of them and twisted them to his liking. They're powered by various different elements, giving them different abilities and strengths and weaknesses. You'll also find them, of course, in the vaults themselves, protecting the many treasures within. As players engage with the storyline of the Season of the Construct, they're going to come across a broken version of the Seneschal during the quest line. The Seneschal is a special construct that was built to command the other constructs based on Ayajan's and Zoltan's direction. Ayajan of Chaldeum repairs the Seneschal to follow your orders. The Seneschal Construct is your companion. It's a rebuilt construct that will accompany you throughout the season. Your construct's power will grow along with you. The Seneschal Construct has many different abilities that can complement the player's build. It can deal damage, crowd control monsters, or even support you directly by healing you or providing you a damage bonus. Magical stones are the key to customizing and empowering your construct. They are primarily found in vaults. You get governing stones from the season quest line and you get tuning stones from playing through the seasonal content. A governing stone is a core construct ability, while a tuning stone is a singular modification for any number of governing stones. As players are progressing through the season of the construct and they're leveling up their center shawl, adding new abilities and improving them, they're gonna find abilities that are gonna deal damage to packs of monsters, to single monsters, and also abilities that are just focused on buffing the power of the player themselves, so that players have different options as they're progressing through the season. One cool ability is Auto Defense. Auto Defense summons a magical barrier around your construct that shoots down enemy projectiles. Another cool ability that your construct has is Focus Fire. It is a channeled ray of fire that can chain to multiple enemies. Use combinations of tuning stones to transform a seemingly simple skill into something truly crazy. Vaults are seasonal dungeons that are filled with a high concentration of deadly traps, where you can farm for the magic stones for your seneschal constructs. You can find the entrances in different zones of sanctuary. When the player enters a vault, they are met in a familiar area of sanctuary. Then, the player teleports to the vault proper, encountering great challenges. Vaults not only have our new construct family in them, but also new traps built for this season. Players are going to discover many new hazards inside these vault spaces. You know, whether it is spinning pillars, shooting out flames, or other traps, players need to stay on their toes while they're progressing through these vaults in order to stay alive. Each vault culminates in a gauntlet of true skill. Players must avoid traps while fighting waves of enemies and a powerful elite. If you survive that, the traps will turn off and the treasure room is revealed. If you get hit by a trap, you lose one stack of Zoltan's Warding. Zoltan's Warding is a special buff players can get by interacting with the statue of Zoltan Cool when they enter a vault. If they have a Pearl of Warding, Ward Woven Chests are special chests players can interact with at the end of a vault if they have enough stacks of Zoltan's Warding left over. If a player has more than one stack, they can open a rare Ward Woven Chest. Those have even better rewards! This season introduces our first stationary boss in Diablo 4. This is going to be a fight against this massive protective golem meant to watch over the vaults. The Malthus, once again, has managed to corrupt and control. Because it's stationary, it gives us the opportunity to include some of the season's new traps into the arena. This presents a lot of unique and new mechanics for the players to navigate and fight. 
player is going to need to bring all of their skills and abilities to bear as they try to destroy and fight off these Malthus controlled constructs. They're also going to make good use of their own Seneschal, make sure they remain upgraded in the fights to come. The Gauntlet is a new, thick seed, non-linear dungeon where players have a fixed amount of time to achieve high scores by proving their might. Any player who unlocks World Tier 4, Torment Mode, can compete in the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet starts several weeks into the season of the Construct. At the beginning of each week, a new Gauntlet replaces the current one. Unlike other dungeons, every time you and other players enter the Gauntlet that week, it will be exactly the same. Same monster positions, same affixes, everything. This makes it a fair competition. Additionally, monsters within the gauntlet start at level 100. This is meant to test your fully leveled up and geared out build. It's highly replayable, enabling a broad set of player choices. Players can try different classes and strategies for achieving high scores. Leaderboards are a place for top players to compete with one another in the gauntlet. These reset each week when a new gauntlet appears. There are solo leaderboards for each class, as well as party leaderboards that vary with party size. And of course, there are a set of leaderboards just for hardcore players too. But some players may not be ready for that type of play, so we've created goals for them as well. Each leaderboard has a ladder that you climb to reach it. Each rung of the ladder awards a seal that you can show off. And when you earn the seal of the worthy, you'll be ready for leaderboard competition. Can't wait to see you in Sanctuary.